Hi everyone, welcome to my November monthly makeup routine. Now, I am sorry there's no weekly vlog today, but it's for good reason. I've given myself the week off vlogging because I've changed my mind and I'm gonna do Vlogmas. I made this whole announcement this time last month about how I'm not doing Vlogmas this year and I was gonna do Snapmas instead. But I've given myself the month of November to think about it and I've changed my mind. You guys were really disappointed I wasn't doing it. I kind of secretly was a bit disappointed that I wasn't doing it. I was gonna just give myself some time off, but who needs time off? Vlogmas is just too fun and really hard as well, but. It's fun. <laughs> so I'm gonna be vlogging every day up until Christmas day. I haven't really figured out if I'm gonna upload like I did last year, Monday to Friday um, or every day. I think it's just gonna be a bit more flexible this year, but hopefully you're gonna see loads more videos from me in December. And I'm still gonna have one main video a week as well. So look out for those. I think one week I actually have two main videos. So I really hope you guys don't miss those. So today I'm gonna to be doing this makeup look. It's a red lip, kind of perfected skin. I always think it's weird when people say that, basically saying that my skin looks perfect, which it doesn't, but you know what I mean. Subtle kind of golden eye. And I'm just gonna to go to the next clip where I'm wearing no makeup and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, I was gonna do a voiceover and just do my makeup and then do a voiceover, but I think I prefer watching videos where people just do their makeup and talk because then you can get their real like initial thoughts on the products they're using and stuff. Also, I'm not using any studio lights today. It's just natural lights. So hopefully you guys can see the real colors of all the makeup that I'm gonna be using. First thing I'm gonna use is a face oil, which is a bit different. I don't normally do that before my makeup. I do it in the morning, but my skin's just feeling a bit tacky and dry at the moment. This is from, I still don't know how to say this brand, Cypress, Cypress. I've been using this so much. It's the Beauty Elixir 2. Because I'm about to do my makeup, I'm only gonna put like one or two drops. I'm just gonna apply that to my face. Oh, it smells amazing, this one. And that's just gonna add some moisture back into my skin. Otherwise my skin just drinks up all the makeup and also, as you can see, it adds a really nice glow as well to the skin. I'm then gonna use the Makeup Forever Radiant Primer in the yellow, which I've been using a lot recently. I can't really tell if it's doing anything, but Jaclyn Hill always uses it and her skin looks amazing. So I'll probably be able to tell when I watch this video back whether it's doing anything, because I haven't filmed with it yet. The lady in the store said that it should only be used under the eye because it's yellow, so it kind of counteracts the dark circles, but I've been using it all over just to add a bit of radiance. I really need to layer up the glowy products at this time of year, otherwise my skin just looks so dull. In case you're wondering if my ears are red, I just got five piercings yesterday <laughs> and I keep knocking my ear. Okay, so for foundation, I'm actually gonna be using a new one from Chanel, which is so exciting. This is coming out in January, so sorry if that's annoying for you, but I'm giving it like a proper go so I can do a review when I talk about it in a video or blog post. It's part of their Le Beige range, which is the really nice powders they have. I think the whole of the Le Beige range is just about being able to wear it all year round, very natural, easy to wear products. I'm a mix of two shades, which is really annoying. I always find this with Chanel foundations. 20 does suit me, but when you put it all over the skin, it makes me look a little bit too pale. And then 30 is a little bit too dark. So I'm, if there were, was a 25, I would be a 25. So I'm just gonna put a pump of each, a half pump of each on the back of my hand and mix those together. I haven't actually properly tried this on my face yet. I tried it yesterday at the launch, but not on my face. I put two pumps of that on the back of my hand, and then I'm just gonna, Tap it onto my face. I love the smell of Chanel foundations. It's quite heavily scented, so if you don't like the scent, then that must be really annoying, but I really like it. Reminds me of like being on holiday in France. Okay, so I'm just buffing that in with my Bobbi Brown buffing brush. It's such a nice like natural foundation. Blends in very quickly. Doesn't cover like a lot, I've got a few kind of red marks here on my cheek and I can see as I blend it over, it's not really covering it up. But the makeup artist from Chanel that I met yesterday was saying how it can be easily be layered. So I'll give that a go today. I'm just gonna buff in this first layer. Okay, so that's the first layer. You can see it's really nice and glowy. Um, probably too glowy for people with oily skin, but I love it. I'm gonna do another layer, which feels weird for me. I never do this, but I wanna see kind of the sort of look I'm going for today, which is golden eyes and a red lip. Because I haven't done a red lip tutorial in a little while and it's getting festive. Um, so for that look, I kind of want slightly perfected skin. I think it looks really nice with a red lip. So for the second layer, I'm kind of dabbing it in more than buffing it, just so I don't move it around too much. Yeah, the second layer applies really nicely and definitely adds quite a lot of coverage. 
So if you have the time for a layering foundation, it's nice because it gives you the options. You can have like one layer for the weekend, two layers for work. Oh my gosh, look at that. I love it. It's so glowy and fresh. Okay, I finally got my hands on another Urban Decay Naked Concealer. I have been missing this stuff so much. I haven't had one for ages. And this time I picked up the shade Medium Light Neutral. I feel like every time I go, I get matched to a different shade. There's definitely a shade missing. That would be perfect for me. This one might be a little bit too dark. I'm just gonna apply a little bit under the eye. Oh my God, I've missed this concealer. I can already feel how great it is. It's just got such good coverage without being too heavy. And I'm gonna blend that in with my Real Techniques setting brush, which I always use. Yeah, this, this concealer is probably a little bit too dark, but the lighter one is too light. I'm just gonna pat that under the eye. See with this one, unlike the Charlotte Tilbury one that I use a lot, I don't need to go in with like the Makeup Forever full cover concealer afterwards because it covers my dark circles. This is such a good concealer. Okay, so that's foundation and concealer done and it is very dewy, so I'm gonna set it a little bit with a powder. And I actually recently picked this up and I'm really excited to try it properly. It's from Laura Mercier and it's her translucent, oh no, it's the Universal Setting Powder. So there was a loose powder in translucent and then this one, and I couldn't really understand the difference, but I went for this one, so I hope I made a good choice. I'm also gonna use this brush which is from Chanel and it's like one of those duo fiber ones just so I apply a tiny bit because I really don't want to put too much on. I'm just like tapping it into the lid. Oh no, that's what happens when you use natural light. Okay, the light's gonna be moving around a bit, I think, but I'm sticking to my guns. I don't want to use studio light for this. Okay, so I'm putting a little bit on the brush and then tapping it off and I'm gonna apply that under the eye where I really need to set it. It may look like I'm piling it on, but this brush like hardly picks up any product. It also kind of sets my eyelids, so there's no kind of concealer creasing on there. So you can see it doesn't take away any of the glow of the foundation, it would just set it in certain places, which is exactly what I wanted. Okay, next I'm gonna bronze up my face a bit. For this I'm using a bronzer from H&M Beauty. This is the Sheer Tan Solar Flare Bronzing Powder. This is really nice. I'm just gonna apply it kind of on the tops of my cheekbones up on my temples, down on my chin, slightly on my neck. So this will just kind of warm up the outer part of my face. For a little highlight, I'm gonna use my Hourglass palette. This is the one with um, three powders in it and I like to just mix them all together. I think that's really nice, just on the tops of the cheekbones. It's more subtle than um, the Becca Champagne Pop, which I've been using a lot. It's just more of a kind of subtle glow. I'm also gonna use a quite a subtle blush because I'm gonna have golden eyes and a red lip and this is from MAC, it's Blush Baby. Haven't used this in a long time and I absolutely love it. It's a very pretty kind of light mauve pink blush. I'm just gonna quickly fill in my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. You don't need to see this. I do the same thing in every video. Okay, so I want really pretty golden lids. Um, not much eyeliner, a little bit, and mascara and red lip, that's what I'm going for. So I'm gonna start by using this H&M eyeshadow because I've been using it so much this month. I absolutely love it. It's in Bachi da Dama. I don't know how you pronounce that, but let's go with that. And it's just a beautiful golden shade. So I'm gonna take quite a lot of that on my brush. It's so pretty and I'm just gonna apply that to the lid. This would be lovely just by itself. It is so, so pretty. The formula of these are so good. And then I'm gonna take my Tarte Tartlet eyeshadow palette, which I've also been using a lot this month. I feel like these monthly makeup routines are kind of a peek into my favorites. So I'm sorry if I repeat myself in my favorites, but I'm using the products that I've been using a lot. So this is an entirely matte eyeshadow palette, which is great because I love matte shadows, especially when I'm wearing a red lip, because I think shimmer, glitter, and red lip can be a little bit too much. It's fine for Christmas, but we're not quite there yet. So I'm gonna take the shade Wanderer, which is like a nice corky brown, and I'm just gonna apply that into the crease and outer corner. Very subtle. I don't wanna kind of smoke it out or anything like that. If you want like a really subtle blend, these RMK brushes are great for that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take a smaller Zoeva brush, take the same shade, Wanderer, and take it under the eye. Very small amount, so it's just really subtle. So that's all I'm gonna do for the eyeshadow. It's really, really subtle and pretty. And then I'm just gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Liner in Bedroom Black, 
and I'm gonna put that in my eye in the top and that just kind of will make my lashes look a bit thicker without wearing a heavy eyeliner to weigh it down. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do this on camera so I'm just gonna like turn around, do it here and come back to you guys. Okay, so what I've done is I've put the Charlotte Tilbury Bridge in Black inside the eye and then I've taken a tiny amount of the Tom Ford liquid liner and as you can see, I've just lined the eye, but so, so close to the lashes. I haven't done a flick or anything. So it hard, you can hardly see it. It just kind of defines the lashes a little bit more. And I'm sorry I couldn't film that, but anyone that can do liner one-handed whilst holding a mirror is just a wizard. I'm gonna put on loads of mascara. I'm not trying anything new today. I haven't actually tried a new mascara in ages because I'm pretty content with my mascara wardrobe at the moment. This is the Clinique High Impact Extreme Volume. And I probably actually need a new one of these, but I might have a backup somewhere. I like to kind of brush it through the lashes quite slowly to really give it the length and the lift from the roots. I think when you have quite a subtle eye and not much eyeliner on, big lashes look really nice. And as you guys know, I don't really wear false lashes. If someone else is doing my makeup, then I will, but I don't tend to use them on myself. Okay, so those are my lashes done. And then I'm gonna put a small amount of the Clinique Lower Lash Mascara on just to kind of even it out a bit. My lashes are quite long, so it can look a bit top heavy if I don't do this. Okay, so now it's just the lips. And if you watch my vlogs, you would have seen that I wore this red lipstick a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'm wearing it a lot, especially this time of year. It's my favorite red lipstick. It's Charlotte Tilbury Red Carpet Red. Her Matte Revolution lipsticks are just so I feel like I can just trust them. It won't kind of smear around my face. They won't come off when I eat or drink or do anything. And they feel comfortable on the lips as well. I'm gonna start by using the MAC Cherry Lip Liner. This is slightly lighter than the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, but once you apply the lipstick on top, you can't really see. I just find it much easier to apply a red lip when you have a kind of guideline around your lips already. So I'm just gonna line the lips. And I can't really talk whilst doing this, so sorry for the silence. I love this lip liner. It's so soft, you can hardly feel it on the lips. I do quite a thick line so that when your lipstick wears off, you're not left with just the line around your lips. I also use a lip liner to kind of draw in a bit more of a cupid's bow. That should be all right, but I can always go back in afterwards. And now I'm gonna apply the lipstick. The square bullets make it really easy to apply straight onto the lips. So you don't have to use a lip brush, you can if you want. So that's the red lipstick done. I think that's the makeup done too. I might put on a bit of this Urban Decay makeup setting spray, just a little bit. And that kind of fixes it all in place and adds a bit more glow. I really like this makeup look actually. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys liked it. I'm really sorry for the light going up and down throughout filming. Very annoying, but hopefully you could see what was going on. Let me know if you try this look yourself at home. Tweet me at Lily Pebbles. I would love to see your photos or you can tag me on Instagram. I'm always looking at my kind of tagged photos on Instagram. Let me know if you guys are looking forward to Vlogmas. I'm sorry that Snapmas is now not a thing, but I'll try and Snapchat through December as well. I'm always kind of on Snapchat, so add me there. My username is Lily Pebbles. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.